How's every pedis? Drunk, I hope. You can stop hiding in here. Every pedis won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Someone's being hurt. Open this door or I'll kick it in! Oh, 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 don't mind her. She likes to watch. Mm. Look at you. Such authority. Such aggression. I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? It sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door wide, wide open for you. I only came to this symposium to find someone. Sounds like we can help each other then, doesn't it? You fetch us a bit of oil, I help you find who you're looking for. Maybe they're in here. She's not in there. I think I'll check all the same. I come bearing gifts. <gasps> We're saved! Today, these women grieved for their sons, and these men worked the wall. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to... join us? Now, it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business, right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd uh, earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. Prostitutes? This is serious. They don't like being called that. And for good reason, they offer so much more than their bodies. Such as... These women are companions, counselors, confidants. Powerful men come to the Etera asking for advice and value their words more than those of their closest friends and advisors. Ali! Come back inside! Ooh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anthusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Anthusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. I admit, I'm surprised to see you here, but everything has a price, as you said. I can't help but wonder what price you paid to gain entry to the symposium. Keep wondering. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? If you've been arguing this long and you haven't agreed yet, just give up. We're discussing the nature of rulers. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasimachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient, and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. 
Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! This argument between you two is pointless. Perhaps. How do you define art? I'm not getting dragged into this. Very well. Answer this. Does the artist not give form and symmetry to her subject? Well, yes. Laws and justice do much the same for people, do they not? And is there any better way to communicate the story of a people than by revealing its customs and laws? If yes, then ruling, and thus justice, must be an art, as Thrasima says. If you say so. Aspasia. You shouldn't be too hard on Socrates. He really has a brilliant mind, even if he comes off a little strong. He isn't always like that, is he? Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him, and Cassandra can help. Everyone listens when she talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Cassandra will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. Your spies have been watching me. I knew you people couldn't be trusted. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. I'd be more comfortable in these clothes if I had a blade in my hand. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now and do it discreetly. I've been searching for a woman named Mirini, my mother. I think she may be in danger and my search brought me here. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Aspasia told me to come find you. She wants you to come down to the party. Uh... She says I don't interact with our guests enough. But these parties aren't for me. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erodos and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> Thank you. 
Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Herodotus was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming, and they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to her, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm related to one of the cult members, and I believe him when he says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know, regardless. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. You look tired. Only of conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need a weapon after all. Are you leaving? I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? There is a physician in Argolis that may be able to help me. You're sick? You've never been sick. No, no, I'm fine. I just need to talk to him. Okay, good. It would be weird if you were sick. Before you go, I heard something from Aspasia. About Kefalonia. What is it? She said there was some sort of plague. You don't think... My friend, the blood fever. Don't think like that. Whatever happened on Kefalonia isn't our fault. I'll go myself and find out if this plague even happened, okay? Okay. Thanks. I knew I could count on you. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye, Cassandra! Gods have mercy! You... want... mercy? Those who trade in slaves anywhere on my island will be marked as slaves themselves. Then hauled to Attica and fed to the system they tried to profit from. Get this scum out of my sight. <laughs> I thought all pirates were slavers. And you are? My name is Cassandra. Well, Cassandra, we're all thought to be murderers too. So tell me why I shouldn't kill you right here. I was told you're a trader of information. <laughs> Among other things, yes. I'm looking for someone. Sneaking into my city is a strange way to make a first impression. I needed to speak with you directly. I didn't think your pirates would just let me walk up and knock. Then speak. I'm looking for a woman. She left Sparta when I was a child. I'll need more than that, Cassandra. She has birthmarks on her arm that form the constellation Aquila. Now, that is something I can work with. Just who exactly is this woman? She's my mother. I haven't seen her since I was a child. So, you're on a quest to find your family? Something like that. Then your path is not an easy one. Aspasia is the one who sent me to find you. Aspasia? Now why would she do that? She said you might have information that could help me in my search. 
You can have anything for the right price. And what is that price? One you can afford, I'm sure. Here, take your drachmi. Nothing feels better than a heavy purse filled with coin. The information I need. How long will it take? I already have it. You do? Your Merini now sails under the name of Finicas. She started as a member of my crew, but we parted ways not too long ago. I'm leaving soon. Chaos is your home. But this isn't my true calling. My purpose. You might never find what you're looking for, Finicas. I can't stop until I do. You are a great pirate. And you are an even greater friend. Don't forget me. Thank you. I... Home isn't the place. It's the people you're with. If you don't find what you're looking for, there's a place for you here. I mean, how hard is it to take a merchant ship and get to Terra and back? Still, Xenia could have used that Miltus. The Drachmi would have been helpful in her fight against. Something we can help you with? Yeah. You were talking about the shipment. We weren't saying nothing. Nothing that concerns you, anyway. You were, and I want to know more. Yeah, don't really care what you want. You'd better tell me about that Miltos shipment. Don't have to tell you shit. Don't even try it. We're under Xenia's protection here, like everyone else. Go on. Get out of here. You sound troubled. I'm trying to steal Xenia a great treasure to celebrate her victory over Chaos, but the directions have been stolen. And I suppose you want someone to steal them back. I tried, but they were stolen by the leader of Coresia, who Xenia banished from the city. There's a new truce between them, but no pirate would touch that. Lucky for you, I'm no pirate. Are you saying you'll help me? There's something in it for you if you do. I suppose I could get your directions. Poseidon blesses me with good fortune at last. So where am I going? To the other side of the island. You'll find the tablet in the leader's house there. Once you have it, head to the nearby village of Poisa and deliver it to my associate. Don't worry. I'll get what you want. Xenia will be thrilled! I await your return. What do you need? Is this a bad time? Every time's a bad time. There's too much work and not enough people to do it. But I'm the only person who cares about that. Wait. Did Xenia send you? She said you'd have work for me. Well, thank Poseidon. Finally, someone competent to help. Ships are pushing into our territory and testing us. Xenia wants to send a message to make sure people understand who owns this little part of the Aegean. I'll sink the ships for you. What am I targeting? Destroy a few ships from Sparta, a few from Athens, and a few bandit ones too. That's a lot of ship sinking. Just make sure you're flying Xenia's colors when you do the sinking. I'll pay you well to ensure the message is understood. This all looks so... Boring. What are you doing here? Oh, me? I was just in the area. What happened to your associate? He had other business to attend to. Left in a hurry. So I came to meet you. I see. Did you get the tablet? Before I hand over anything, I want my drachmi. But of course. You're a woman after my own heart, you know. Thanks. Here's the tablet. Excellent! Now we can really get to the matter at hand. Let's see what we have here. Hmm. This is interesting. The treasure is hidden in some Minoan ruins. Oh, but it's underwater. You can't swim? I'm a pirate. Of course I can fucking swim. I... just don't like sharks. So you're a coward, not a weakling. I don't need to swim if I have a reliable mercenary to do it for me. 
I might be interested in an adventure. I can promise you this will be one to remember. Else Poseidon's trident spear me and drag me to the crashing deep. All right. I suppose I can help you recover your treasure. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist. Poseidon blesses me with good fortune at last. So where am I going? Here. Take this key and head to the southern tip of Chaos. You'll find the entrance to the ruin there. It's sticky. Is that blood? Gods, no! Must have been the pomegranate I ate earlier. Hurry now. Time's a-wasting. I'll get you what you want. My friend! You are a gift from Poseidon himself. I try my best. I'm going to need that artifact from you now. First, my pay. I don't think so. Very funny. Now pay up. The last laugh is all mine. I'm in the business of double-crossing mercenaries. I didn't swim through sharks for this. That was your mistake, not mine. There was no treasure. Then why are you here? I came to tell you there's nothing down there. Someone else must have got there first. Then I'll kill you and check your remains, just to be sure. It was simple. An unarmed merchant ship. You gave that to Poseidon, and then ran us onto the rocks. We aren't far from chaos. Someone will find us. I hope the sharks find you first. Stop! Keep the fuck out of this! The captain's going to get what's coming to him. This man is your captain. You can only be captain if you got a ship. And he... Ain't got one no more. I can make it worth your while if you get me back to Chaos. Stand aside. Get out of my way. I'm taking Captain Gotarzis back to Chaos. You'll be sorry you stuck your nose in where it doesn't belong. He's fucked us over too many times. No, the captain won't leave here alive. Get behind me and stay close. Some fight, eh? Thank you, stranger. Now. If you can just get me back to Chaos, there's a reward in it for you. There better be. You've seen what happens to people I disagree with. Let's get to my ship and get you home, then. The Tarsis! That's not what I expected. The Tarsis! I thought I lost you this time. Where is your ship? <sighs> the rocks around the isle were treacherous. Oh, I'm well aware of his nautical prowess. A goat could sail those waters. My alive brother. He's your brother? It would be easier if he wasn't. What happened to the crew? Those dogs turned on me. If it wasn't for this Mystios... He would be dead. Then you will be rewarded, Mystios. Gotarzis promised a reward. A substantial one, if I remember it right. Pay her, then. Me? But you're the one who... Fine. Come with me, stupid brother. Thank you, Cassandra. Family is family, and for his life, I thank you. Fuck you, insignificant peon. Tell me where he is, or by era I'll burn this clinic to the ground with you in it. I already told you... ...straight himself before the gods and declare that his skills are gods given. But that won't help his patience. It'll just take him away from his work. If Hippocrates thinks he can disrupt social order to make himself into a demigod of healing, well, perhaps the gods themselves will have their revenge. I'm sure there's no need for raised voices. Who are you? I'm looking for a man named Hippocrates. Yet another crazed follower of the madman himself. Tell your impious master that unless he makes a public apology and soon, this priestess of Ira will gather an army of faithful and shut him down. Out of my way. Oh, thank all the gods she's gone. I thought she was going to kill me this time. What's going on? I am Sostratos. Crisis has accused my master Hippocrates of impiety. Is he impious? He believes that beyond praying, people can take their health into their own hands and make themselves well. Fascinating. Can I speak with him? I'm sorry, he isn't here. 
I'll find him. If you're going to meet Hippocrates, could I trouble you with a small errand? Depends what it is. I want you to bring him some equipment. He was in such a hurry, he left it behind. I could bring that to Hippocrates. Really? My services don't come free. Here, take this. Though perhaps Hippocrates can teach you something about helping those in need when you speak with him. How will I know who I'm looking for? Head southeast of Hera's watch, near the cave of Pan. He'll be standing before a long line of sick people. You'll know him by his, um, bald spot, though I wouldn't mention it. So, what has caused this man's condition? An excess of phlegm, Doctor. In the immediate sense, yes. But more importantly, he suffers from neglect. Neglect? Good food, warm clothing, so much could have helped. But since other caretakers assumed his condition was a punishment from the gods, they neglected him. Challenging tradition. You must be Hippocrates. Yes, I'm also very busy. This is important. Where are all these people coming from, anyway? Patience, mercenary. They come from everywhere, but this is mostly overflow from the sanctuary of Asclepios. It's been crowded there since the war began. And with crowding comes sickness. I've come from your clinic in Argos. Sostratos asked me to give you this. I knew I forgot some things. Sostratos is a good physician, but a better apprentice there is none. Did you ask him to pay you for this delivery? Of course I did. I'm a mystios. Ungenerous, but honest at least. What can I call you, Mistios? Cassandra of Sparta. What did you come here for, Cassandra of Sparta? I've been searching for a Spartan woman. What makes you think I would know her? I was told you may have helped her a long time ago. Maybe the priests at the sanctuary of Asclepios can help. They keep detailed records of all who pass through. Please, Hippocrates, I came very far to meet you. As did this patient, and the one before him, and the one before her. My patients need me, but my notes on diseases of the mind were taken. Retrieve them, and I will help you find what you seek. Hurry, this patient doesn't have much time left. I'll do my best with what you've told me. Good luck. We're depending on you. If you're here for your purification bath... know about a Spartan woman who came through here many years ago. Did that eagle of yours shit in your ears? I'm under strict orders not to talk to any mercenaries. Especially not about Spartan women or injured babies. I never mentioned the baby. Think you're so smart? Many women pass through with babies. Now leave me. I have my own problems to deal with. Maybe I can help you. Snakes! Snakes. They're everywhere! Must have escaped from the Tholos. We keep them for treatments, but they invaded the bathhouse. The snakes killed someone? A patient was purifying himself when they slithered in. Turns out he's terrified of snakes. Fell over dead. Now the snakes have made him their home. What if I took care of your snake problem? Would you talk to me then? Oh, most definitely. The purification bath is crucial in the path towards healing. I'll take care of your snake problem. Then, you'll tell me what I need to know. Greetings, Griffice. No. But I'm searching for a Spartan mother who may have. The great goddess Ira guides many mothers to the sacred place. Surely I'm too feeble to remember them all. What are these stone slabs for? These are uh, records. We document all who pass through, uh, their illnesses, treatments, so that the glory of Asclepios can be celebrated. Then I don't need your memory. I just need to find the right stone. Um, yes, of course. That's very wise indeed. If only I had the time to help you. Listen, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm just looking for my mother. It's Chrysis, 
She's got every priest in the sanctuary under her thumb, and she'll squash anyone who feeds information to the eagle bearer. Then don't tell me anything. Just bring me to the stone that can. Follow me then. Quickly. We must be discreet. Lead the way. And what about this one? Let me guess. It tells the tale of a blind woman who had her eyes licked by snakes. It reads... ...of Sparta. Came here with child. Sought pity from the gods. Why is most of it scratched out? Oh, uh, I'm... I'll just tell you. I know this one by heart. The Spartan woman arrived filthy and bleeding from her travels. We cared for her, gave her food, a bath, and she left. Where she went, I do not know. The child could not be saved. Who does know where she went? We've been spotted. Meet me later, near the olive tree of Heracles, at the entrance of the sanctuary. I may have something for you. And what do we have here? A priest and a mercenary out for a friendly stroll? May the gods be with you, Plistos. I was just on my way to the archives when this Mystheus bumped into me. Is that so? And what were you both chatting about so fervently, might I ask? I'm filthy and could use a good bath. The kind priest here was pointing me in the direction of the bathhouse. Um, yes, that's correct. The bathhouse is right over there. Now, if you'll excuse me. The baths are for healing the sick, not for washing the blood off one's hands. Leave. May Asclepio spare her from suffering. Will she live? Not unless the gods heed our prayers. Many sick Athenians have arrived in Argolis recently, and very few have left. This poor girl has the same sickness. I'm looking for information about a Spartan woman who came through here. I was warned about an eagle bearer. A ruthless killer, she was called. Do you think it's wise to deny a ruthless killer the information she desires? <sighs> Healing the sick is my path. Help me get the attention of the gods, and I tell you what I can. What are you asking, exactly? Her illness seems to have no cure, and it's spreading. Our sacrifices have done little to draw the attention of the gods. Pigs. Gods, all have fallen on deaf ears. We need the beast whose blood will ignite these flames for Asclepios to see. What did you have in mind? There is a rumor of a bull with skin as white as snow roaming the sanctuary outskirts. Head west of here, towards the coast. Bring it to me alive, and we'll offer a sacrifice the gods cannot ignore. I'll find this bull for you. And is the bathhouse free of snakes? I carved up every single one of those slimy malikes. My babies! What have you done to my babies? Your snakes infested my bathhouse! A sick man is dead because of them! You! You did this! I only did what Belenor told me to do. What? How dare you! I never said kill them! How could you, Pilenor? You'll pay for this. I curse you both to Hades! Well? Well what? I took care of the snakes. Now you're going to tell me about the Spartan woman and the baby. <laughs> I actually don't know anything. It was before my time. The man who does know is Mithun, but he won't tell you. He won't tell anyone anything. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you for your discretion, Eagle Bearer. Chrysis has many eyes and ears throughout the sanctuary. What else can you tell me about the Spartan woman and child? The woman left the child's blanket behind. We tried to return it, but it was too painful a memory for her. Where did she go? What happened to the child? So, Chrysis was right. You knew the rules, Timoxenos. You will suffer her wrath. Please, Tos. Please. Get behind me, priest. I'll deal with these two. Did you find the white bull? I couldn't bring it back alive. But I did manage to collect its heart. 
This won't be enough to please Asclepios. The beast died unwillingly, and with just a heart, we'll only be able to pray for one life. Please, Mythios. The white bull you killed was mine. My farm feeds half of Arolis. If I die, people will starve. I beg you! My husband was killed by this sickness. I have two small children. Who will take care of them if I die? I am wealthy and will pay you for this blessing. <coughs> it's okay. Give the sacrifice to them. You did this. You choose whose prayers get heard by the gods. Pray for the farmer. The bull was his. Its sacrifice will help feed the people of Argolis. Thank you, Mistyos. Very well. The rest is in the hands of the gods. I did my part, priest. The Spartan woman you're after. You've met her? Her visit to the sanctuary is legendary. But sadly, it was before my time. The man you want is Midon, the elder priest. He spoke of her often. That is, before he cut out his tongue. Cut out his tongue? When he's not healing the sick, he's in the guest house. Spends a lot of time being... tended to by the servants. Thank you. I won't forget you helped me. And these people won't forget you helped them. Guards! They're dead. And you must be Midon. He doesn't speak. So I've heard. I'm here to find out why. Chrysis did this to him. Uh -huh. I thought he did this to himself. To prove his loyalty to her. Now, why would Chrysis want an elder priest to cut out his tongue? Midon is a caring, generous man. I want answers from him, not you. Tell me about the Spartan woman and her baby. He can only answer yes or no. I know why Chrysis made you cut out your tongue. The night my mother brought my brother here, you and your priests left him for dead. And Chrysis didn't like you telling the story. That's not what happened! What do you know? You're too young to have been there. He told me the story many times before that witch stole his voice. He tried to save the baby, did everything he could. I don't believe you. Dead. How can my baby be dead? I don't know what to tell you. You were lucky he survived as long as he did. That, that fall was devastating. <laughs> my baby. My baby. <laughs> Listen, there's nothing we can do for you anymore. You'd best be on your way. Ray is here. <laughs> <laughs> They're gone. They're both gone. He wept for that Spartan woman so far from home. Her baby barely recognizable, hardly breathing. Tell me, please. I need to know. Not even Apollo could save the child. Nidon told me how the Spartan woman wept. Held the baby in her arms, sang to him, before finally leaving him to the gods. Chrysis took the baby, didn't she? And she made you cut out your tongue to hide the truth. Where is Chrysis? I see. Chrysis possesses every tongue around here. I'll find her on my own then, and cut out a lot more. Go away! Calm down. Hippocrates sent me. The great doctor is concerned for my health? Yes. And we need some information. Tell him... ...someone tried to kill me. Kill you? He said you worked with orphans. That's why I'm here. That was long ago. Now I'm just a farmer. And I'm Amistheus. If I stop this killer... Will you speak with me? I will. I'll find out who wants you dead. It was my neighbor or my landlord who attacked me. But you can't punish someone unless you know they're guilty. I'll be back when I figured it out. Then, 
We're talking about your past. Did you see someone attack Dolops? Yes. It was terrible. Who did it? I couldn't see clearly, but I think it was that bull-headed neighbor of his. He must have finally snapped. Thanks for letting me know. I'm looking for the person who attacked Dolops. I saw it happen. His face was covered, but I'm sure it was our landlord. He lives all alone and hires soldiers to protect him. He has to be hiding something. Thanks for letting me know. Mistios! You scared me. I know who did it. What do you think? Who tried to kill me? Your neighbor tried to kill you. I knew it. I'll take care of him. Good luck. I heard someone tried to kill your neighbor. Dollops, that mouse turd, <laughs> could give him trouble. People say it's you. He's a fool. I like to give him a hard time, but I wouldn't try to kill him. I know your type. You like roughing up people smaller than you. Time to pick on someone your own size. You seem to fit that description. By Hades. The killer must have been waiting for me to leave. I hope Dolops left some sign of his days as a priest, or this has all been for nothing. What's this? A letter? Chrysis. You cannot keep taking children to the altar of Apollo Maleatas. It is not the gods who condemn them, but you. I will take this to the authorities if you don't stop. Your son... Tolops. A warning. I must be getting close. seems to run in your bloodline, almighty oh eagle bearer. Don't you dare speak of my family, snake. I still remember the night your mother brought me my child. The sad, pathetic thing, crying in the rain. Had I known then that Mirini had two children. But here you are. My family is complete. You take children from their mothers and silence anyone who gets in your way. If you're referring to me, then, it was he who chose to slice off his cursed tongue. I'm talking about the farmer you had killed in Epidavros. <laughs> I should have killed that idiot son of mine years ago. Your own son? Dolops turned his back on me the night I rescued your brother. He was too stupid to see the child's destiny was intertwined with my own. You let my mother believe her baby was dead. But he was. Oh, how she wept when his little heart stopped beating. But then I took care of him. Placed him on this very altar. Screamed for the gods to spare his life. And they listened. I'll run my spear through your throat for the pain you've caused. <laughs> this world is pain. I gave the most strength to go. Your mother was a weakling who whined to the gods like a pig on an altar. I am more a mother to her child than she will ever be. I can be a mother to you too, Eagle Bear. This goes beyond my family. You and your cult are going to destroy the Greek world. You bring nothing but suffering. You talk of suffering and yet you come drenched in blood and threaten my life. You are a killer, just like your brother. Here. Let me show you. My child! This baby is yours? He was dying. Chrysis had me bring a gift to Ira so that he might be protected. Chrysis lit the temple on fire with the boy and me inside. Chrysis is a servant of Ira. She does what needs to be done. What needs to be done? She left your baby to burn alive. And you saved him. Gods bless you, Eagle Bearer. 
Sleep now, sweet child. Mater is here. Are you Anthusa? Me? Anthusa? I could be anyone for you, lamb. I charge less than the Etera. But do I ever know my way around a hay bed? So her name means something to you? Anthusa? She's been around forever, but I never met her. I know the Etera all work as one, on equal footing. But Anthusa's special. She talks, they listen. If the Etera aren't here, where are they? Their swords are too high and mighty to be down here in the dirt with us. You want them, you'll find them upon the hill. The Acrocorinth. By the temple, keeping Aphrodite's worshippers satisfied. Ah, uh, yeah! They think this temple is dedicated to them, the brutes. <sighs> the thieves are here and the Etera aren't. The Etera? <laughs> They're much wiser than we are. They realize their visitors were all getting robbed on the way in. There's no avoiding the mongers' men in Corinth. I'll keep my guard up. He craves money, Mistyos. Not only that, but power. Once he smells it on you, you're a gunner. So the monger is a Corinthian criminal? Master of the underground markets. He rules with one hand open for money, and the other clenched around a weapon. A drachmi and blood-hungry monsters what he is. If you know of the Etera, then you know of Anthusa. I'm looking for her. They say she's... everywhere. Though I've never seen her. But the Etera see everything. I've seen them gather by the spring of Pirene, down the mountain. They meet clients there, and then take them elsewhere in secret. Good. Maybe pray to Aphrodite from home, next time. Ah, so Cassandra has finally found us. You know me? And you know her. This is Anthusa. We saw you help the worshippers at the temple of Aphrodite. You've proven yourself a friend. Hear that, Icarus? Her sight's as good as yours. Someone also spoke very highly of you. Surprise! Phoebe! Aspasia sent me. I work for her now, remember? But why here? Corinth isn't safe. I had to tell Anthusa you were coming. Aspasia taught me a new word. Emissari. That's me. And now Cassandra and I have met. See? This is easy. And now I can help you. You and I will talk about this later. I don't work for you. I work for Aspasia. Then the work she gave you should keep you busy. We need to move inside, Cassandra. We're not the only ones watching. Come with me, and we'll talk. Can I come? As long as you're quiet. To what do I owe your visit? Alcibiades told me about you. <laughs> Did he? Go on. I'm looking for a woman from Sparta. A runaway. Long ago. She may have gone by the name of Mirini. Who's that? She's my mother. Your mother? You don't have a mother. Marcos told me he raised you. What did I tell you about talking? I see. There will be time to respond to your question, but that time isn't now. That's not the answer I'm looking for. It's the only one you'll get until I've bargained a proper exchange. I've become quite the businesswoman, after all. You better be telling the truth. Cassandra can get really mad. Why don't you go play, Phoebe? Let me and Anthusa talk. If you say so... I propose a trade. Help me. Help us get stronger. Strong enough to rid Corinth of the monger permanently. A simple transaction, I assure you. You have a deal. A wise decision, dear Mistyos. I haven't made it this far being a fool. I know when to take a chance. Then we're in business. Now, you've heard of the monger? I heard about him after I killed his men. 
Seems he's famous in Corinth. For all the wrong reasons. His knife has shed much Corinthian blood, but that's just the way of commerce. The blood between us is bad. Then you've held your ground well. You're not dead. Not yet, anyway. But he's employed enough thugs to amass a small army. Now they're attacking people in the street, us included. He's been killing a Terra? Killing? We're smarter than that. But action must be taken before it goes that far. I'm not the only one who needs help. My girls, the Malis and Irina, are suffering too. More monger trouble? I wouldn't doubt it. Work against their aggressors, and then it will be his turn to suffer. You'll find the Malis here at the spring, but Irina has gone to Bellerophron's garden. I'll see what I can do for them. Good. The monger feeds his thugs. With a drachmi, he makes smuggling. Weapons, mostly. Which is all the more lucrative now that he has a war to supply. So, if someone interrupts the monger's supply, his men go hungry. Exactly. Go to his warehouse in the port of Lecheo and burn his cargo. All of it. We'll let Chaos take care of the rest. Then the warehouse will be cinders. So you're here to help us, Mistios? You don't look like a monger spy. I'm more the in-your-face type. You have a monger problem, Damalis? I might. One of my regulars has changed. He was a decent man once, but now he's gone bad. Corinth seems to have a shortage of decent people. I need someone with muscle to figure out what's behind the change. Why he's different. I'll see what he has to say for himself. If he's not lurking around here, he'll be at his house. I want this to end today. It will. People tend to show their true selves to my spear, whether they like it or not. Good, you found me. Shh. What are you doing here? I heard the Mali's talking about her crazy client earlier, and I wanted to help. Fine. But you have to do as I say. No games. I know that already, because you never let me have any fun. I'm going to talk to Damalis' client and see what he has to say. I've been here, spying, and I heard him mumbling to himself. He's weird. But maybe if I tell you what he said, it could help? Time to act. Listen closely. You sneak inside and see what you can find in his house while I distract him. Quiet like a mouse. Good. But if you get caught, run. Right out the door. We'll meet afterwards. Promise? I'm ready. Let's go. <clears throat> Do I know you? No. But I know you. If Miron sent you, tell him I was going to pay him back this very night. No one sent me. We need to talk. I know you're up to something. Something? Something could be anything. You have nothing on me. You're going to Fair's pig farm. And meeting some like-minded person there, I hear. Where did you hear that? You're wrong. Dead wrong. They owe you a deed to some land. What that land will be used for, I don't know. A spy? What else do you have on me? Cough it up. Dinocrates is his name. The man you're meeting. I know no one called Dinocrates. You almost had me there. What? Wait! <gasps> Thief! Thieves! Get out! Guards! Get them! 